Salutations and good morrow everyone. Happy Halloween season. It is All Hallows Eve week here on the Sir Simulot channel and I am a few days behind so I thought what would I do better than to throw on a random hat and to make a fun little video for you guys on a new Halloween DLC that got released for Endzone A World Apart. I'm going to be going through and making another series on Endzone A World Apart covering the brand new update that has been released to the game. The new DLC, the Prosperity DLC that got released. But I thought why not go through and make a little bit of fun with with our new Halloween DLC that we have here. So, what comes with this Halloween DLC? Well, if we come over here and we look at decorations, you'll see down here we have all sorts of really, really cool things, like a cage that you can just randomly put people in. How about a cauldron? A fire pit that's covered in skulls? Some dark flags? The Grim Reaper? Literally, you can just go ahead and toss in a Grim Reaper in here. It's like, oh yeah, here's this guy. He's here. Uh, otherwise, you have Memorial to the Dead. I can throw in a couple pumpkins just to give us uh, to pump up our area a little bit. What do these take to make? Uh, wood. They only take wood. That's not too bad. So we could throw in a couple pumpkins if we wanted to. A uh, scarecrow. A uh, skull torch. Totems. Uh, hanging cages. Oh god, this gives me uh, revives back to Diablo 2. If you know, you know. Um, gargoyle statues. Dark lamps, which is just like a lamp that actually looks really, really cool. Just saying. And then obviously an homage to the Great One. So if for all of you guys that don't know uh, what the Great One is referring to in this game, this is a shrine to Cthulhu that they have put into the game. So this is a really, really fun little thing that they added. Um, I'm going to be checking out this update in depth. So let's actually get rid of this guy here. Let's uh, wipe this out. Can I actually destroy that? Because we don't actually want that. So let's just go ahead and uh, cancel construction on that guy. All right, let's go through and let's make ourselves a Halloween town. That's exactly what I've named this town. Uh, how do I play Endzone again? Uh, let's see, how do you do this? Um, I think we need to start with water. So let's start with a jetty to get some water. We'll throw that down right over here. Um, there we go. We'll throw a jetty in right there to start getting some water. I need to get some people to become builders. So I'm just going to make some builders to start with. And then I also need to go tasks and gather all resources and I just need this to become bigger. How did I make it bigger? Okay, there was never a way to make it bigger. So let's just gather up everything that's in that area right there. Um, and we will call that good. Undo building pause. No, we want to keep all that going as it is. Okay, so let's go over to housing next and let's grab some cabins because uh, everybody needs to stay in a cabin in the woods when you're in Halloween town, right? And I'm just going to toss in some cabins right here, uh, building these. Ooh, there's some stuff right here. So there's some stuff and some things that's keeping me from building. What's that? That's a tractor? Well, let's destroy it. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see. Gather scrap from this area that's right here. So that's going to give us two different areas to work with. Okay, we'll get the one house built. Um, water's on its way. I'm going to need a cistern for that as well. So let's just get a good old fashioned cistern put in. Alrighty. And food. Um, oh, I forgot. I have everything unlocked just so I can build things right now. So that's why it's like, oh, Sim, you already have everything. Well, yeah, I already have everything, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be the best. Uh, let's do a cultivated field here. Um, I'm going to go, let's say, a 10 by 10 on this side. This may be a bad spot to build that, but we're going to do it anyway. So let's do a 10 by 10, and let's start with some spooky decoration, shall we? So let's start with getting some... Let's get our Grim Reaper, owed to uh, all holy Grim Reaper here. We'll put him down. Uh, let's go... I have paved roads, apparently. That's nice. Let's just get some paved roads in here. All right, I need to get some farmers going. Note to self, contact farmersonly.com. Choose seed. Let's grow, well, obviously squash because it's the Halloween season, so squash it is. Choose seed. Grow that there, please. What's this need? This needs metal. Oh, well, we don't have any of that right now, but we can get there. Uh, resources upgraded workshop. Heck yeah, that requires metal to make though. Um, I think it's recycler is what I need. Yeah, I need one of these things. So let's go ahead and slappy dappy that on down right there. Uh, I'm going to grab some more paved road and we're just going to go back over this way. 
to give ourselves some more space. We're gonna grab some paved road, and we're gonna take it out this way a little bit. Perfect. All right. You're getting that put in? Perfect. Let's grab some pumpkins. Lord knows everybody wants pumpkins around their houses, so let's grab some pumpkins. Here you go. You get some pumpkins right now. Oh, let's see. What, what way are these facing? I can't tell which way they're facing. We're going to go like that and hope that they're facing the right way. Okay. Skull torches. Those require coal to make. Totems. Ooh, I can make some totems. Nice. Dark flag. Let's check that out. Ooh, that's creepy looking. I like that. Okay, uh, where's my fast forward button? Let's do the fast forward button because if everybody ends up dying, it's okay. They'll just turn into skeletons. It's Halloween Town, right? That's the way it's supposed to work? Hey, I did end up facing these the right way. That's great. All right. Cool. Ooh, we got a scarecrow as well. Memorial to the dead. Well... That seems important, so we're going to put one of those in right next to the house there. Everybody needs a memorial to the dead every now and then, right? Let's get a recycler going and get me some metal. That way we can build up our scarecrow that we have here. And our resource storage is full. Oop, we need somebody working here. Actually, I think I could get more than one person working there. Alright, get it going. Get it going. Everything's working now. Things are coming together swimmingly at the moment. Ooh, look at it. It's awesome. That actually looks really cool. Little, uh, little staircase there. A little Halloween town-ish look. All right, let's grab another house, shall we? Uh, ooh, upgraded shelter. Shelter. Comfortable house. I don't have all those resources. Sturdy house. I really don't have all of those resources. So let's just go with cabins. Cabin in the woods. Okay, I should put my shrine to the good old Cthulhu right over there. Yay, we built our little Grim Reaper statue. That looks awesome, actually. Uh, let's go back to... Fabric for now. Yes, let's go back to Fabric for now. Or Cloth. Go to Cloth. Switch to Cloth, quickly! Alright, upgrade my city to Town Hall. I don't know how to do that. Upgrade. Uh, upgrade Mounted Bus Community. Upgraded to town center. Upgrading. Oh, there we go. We officially made it to town center. What's this? Upgraded town hall. You need plastic and electronics for that. Oh, well, I've never done that before, but we're going to have to check that out here in just a moment. Okay, we're getting some stuff in, some things. We need a lot more houses because everybody wants to get their frick stations going. So we'll work with that. Uh, not enough workforce to get that done. Oh, there's no more resources there. Well, I'll see you later. All right, let's get some more cabins in the woods. Put you down, and then we'll start building on this side as well. And then let's grab a road. Paved road. Paved road. There we go. That'll do. All right, we got some more stuff over here, which means we're going to need some more pumpkins. So let's get our decorating on. Go down and grab our pumpkins. There we go, little pumpkins there. I want to see what these uh, dark lamps look like as well. These require just scrap to make. But I want to put one like right here and right here. There we go. Let's get a couple dark lamps in there. Really get the decoration going because that's what Halloween's all about, right? Okay, so we got that going. We got housing done. We still have six people that are homeless. Well, that's no good. Well, let's get them some housing then, shall we? Uh, cabins in the woods. Here we go. One there, one there. Rotate that around. One there and one there. All right, and let's grab some more paved roads. Where are you? Ian Logistics. It is quite fun to play this game when everything's already unlocked, but it does take away from a lot of the game. Like, I have all the seeds unlocked and everything like that, so uh, it does take away from it quite a bit. So, um, probably won't keep it this way forever, but here we go. Here's a big old warehouse. Let's toss the big old warehouse right down over here, and sweet. Okay, so nobody's homeless anymore. We have so much water. How's our squash or more or less pumpkins coming along? Perfect. 
Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go back to decorations and let's look at a little bit more stuff, shall we? Okay, so... Obviously, we're gonna need some hanging cages right out here as well. So let's put some hanging cages on this side of town. Lord knows that everybody needs some hanging cages outside of their house. Ooh, we need more scrap. Well, let's record. Let's go get some more scrap. Let's get more scrap. All right, here we go. That's a good amount. Boom. Go get all of that, please. Drought incoming. Not worried about it at all. Okay, you don't have anything to do either. You have made plenty of that, so let's get you over to plastic now. Let's have you make some plastic. All right, and you're done, and you're done. Yeah, hanging cages. Halloween Town is really starting to come together here. I love it. I like it when uh, video game developers go through and put little things like this into the game to allow us to be able to go through and make kind of these uh, creepy little um, updates like for holidays and stuff like that. I'm hoping that we get something like this around the uh, Christmas or Thanksgiving time uh, as well. I know that other games that I play like Grounded and a few other ones have small updates like this that they've put into the game um, just as cool little additions. I'm going to go ahead and put in this, uh, this shrine to the Great One. The great old one. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. And they're going to get that built. And hopefully uh, that ends up being a really, really cool looking building. And then I'll build a pathway over to it. And make sure it's surrounded by a bunch of flame and fire and lamps. And all sorts of cool things. Like maybe some skull torches right next to it. You know what I mean? Uh, good things like that. Because, you know, everybody wants to have skull torches whenever you're on your way to worship your, uh, you know, almighty Cthulhu. Alright, what do you need? You need coals, which means I need a coal burner, which means I need to go here and find coal burner. Charcoal kiln. Yeah, this guy. Uh, and you know what? Yeah, because I don't really care about housing aesthetic here because this is Halloween Town and you're meant to be foul and disgusting and working and look at all you guys just lazing about underneath there. Get back to work. Although the cistern is full, so that does prove to be a little bit more of a problem. Oh well. Alright, how's our town hall upgrade going? We have plenty of plastics, which means we need to switch over to electronics really quick and get that done. All these upgraded things that I want to get. A concrete factory, material factory, mine, sand mine, all of these things are coming in the prosperity update in the playthrough that's coming to the channel very, very soon. Okay. So, uh, let's see, let's get some people working here, let's get some people working there, so they can get that going. I also need to clear out this, tasks, clear all resources, all of that, so that way we can see what's going on in our shrine. There we go, yeah, they're taking that down really quick. Look at this! They can all come here and worship now. I don't really know what this does for the people, other than it's just a decoration. I don't think that they actually do anything with it, but maybe, like, go out there. And, like, check it out. But really, it's it's just a it's just a vanity item. None of the Halloween items actually do anything for your settlements. But they are just vanity items that are pretty cool that got added to the game. So, uh, nice, cool stuff that's going on there. Oh, I have more people that are now homeless. And we're in a drought. The Great One will be sad. Look at that, though. That is absolutely fantastic artwork that they put into that. Ooh, my skull torches are done. All right, let's get our pathway out there. Uh, logistics, paved road. Go like that. Run this over here like this. And then let's have a double road going to it. Because we can. Sadly, I can't actually connect it right there, but all will live on. Let's uh, let's get this wiped out, though, because we don't need that anymore. And I think I don't need to put down a piece of road right there. Yep, I do. There we go. All right, cool. So that is that. And they actually do go up there and light candles and stuff. That's pretty awesome. Let's add a couple more decorations over here that we can, like a couple dark flags. Because, you know, everybody wants some dark flags around. Uh, obviously pumpkins, because those are needed. We're going to point them towards the, uh... Towards the road, though, so everybody knows when you're going here, you're definitely going for Halloween Town. Um, and some hanging cages. Because, you know, sacrifice is required. Alright, very good. 
Very good. All right, and then uh, let's just uh, pop in a couple dark lamps so everybody knows uh, exactly where you're all about to walk into. Very nice. All right, let's get that. Let's see what that looks like there. Look at this little bit of a walkway that we have built up here now. This is awesome. And this is what all these little updates are all about inside of games like this. Having little zones where people walk up and have um, little, like, decorated areas for each of the holidays that come through. Because, like, if you have this built, for, say, my Prosperity uh, game that we're building, we'll have this update active. I'm not saying that I'm going to go through and focus this um, right away in the beginning of the update. But I plan on going through and getting this put together at least at some point. That way we have a small homage to the Halloween update that is inside of the game. But check that out. Check that out. That is the Halloween update stuff. There is a couple other things that you can put in. But really, at the end of the day, it is all about everything that I've already put in for us to be able to see and use right now that they've added to the game for the decorations. So, thank you so much, Endzone developer and team, for uh, putting in this little Halloween update. It's really cool to be able to see stuff like this. Thank you to everybody so much for clicking on this video. I hope you guys will make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you guys do not miss the updated videos that are coming out throughout the next week that is going to be covering Endzone A World Apart, the new Prosperity DLC that has just been released. I am super excited to go through and, ooh, that's a big fire pit. Make videos on it and i hope you guys are as well because we are here to have ourselves a great time but thank you guys all so much make sure you guys hit that like button don't forget to leave a comment down below and please don't forget to subscribe and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one